here in Cody's garage and we have some major updates with the Fox. We're gonna build it. I'm gonna go grab the Fox. We're gonna put it up on the lift and talk about everything we're gonna do. Check what needs to be fixed and what we're gonna upgrade. Let's go. Thanks, you need those? All right, let's go. Let's get this baby started. <laughs> oh wait, first we should do a walk around real quick. Check outside it out, and see Cody. what we need first. It is actually in pretty decent shape. Did you see I cleaned it? Yeah, I, where's the emblem? I gave oh, you it. It's still in my car. Oh I, man. Look, dude, I have to scrape all this off. WD 40. It'll we'll get there. It'll right get off. there. <laughs> all right, so first first upgrade we're going to do is put an emblem on. We got an antenna. It's like <laughs> almost there. It's a nub. A little nub. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> got some white out right here. Oh, few, yes. few bangs. Overall, a really good looking car. Let's get this thing started. I'll guide you in. Okay, please do. Don't let me hit anything. <laughs> I hate doing this. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> okay, the clutch is weird in this. <laughs> this slipped on oil or grease. Oh, down for the count. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Oh, I'm not gonna put that on van. Yeah, you know. right? Yeah. You about lost your loaf? <laughs> Gross. So you just <laughs> Gross, cameraman. <laughs> we just pulled the fox in. Now let's put it up on the lift. And Cody, I do know it leaks a ton down there, so we have a ton of maintenance we have to do. But also the emergency brake doesn't work. Right. I kind of need to fix that soon. You drove all the way up here and your emergency brake doesn't I work? Did. I did. Oh. I had to get up here. People, people. It's okay, just downshift. Venmo, just downshift. you know, whatever. <laughs> let's get her some uh, some moolah to get this thing looking pretty. All right, let's put this thing up. All right. Well, That's what she said. Hey. Oh. Check that one. Yeah, well, get it should. where you think and then I'll double check it. Okay. Let's lift him up. All lift right, Grandpa ready? up. Oh my gosh, check out that box, you guys. It looks so good. Woo! All right, Cody, so first I want to check out where the oil leaks are coming from because every <laughs> time I drive this car, there's like puddles of oil underneath. Look at this. Uh, oh my gosh, look at you that. Guys you guys ever clean this car? I mean, not the bottom. This, this poor neglected fox. Whatever, do you clean Look at the, it. Where, oh. Let's see the bottom of Let your car. That. Ew. Hey Cody, this looks super nasty. Is this where the leak's coming from? This is nasty. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little dirty under here, guys. A little bit. Oh, I didn't realize how bad it was. Looks like I'm guessing the front seal, the front crank seal's leaking. Pretty good. We just gotta pull the, the cover off. I think that'd be a good start. Is that the one where we have to take the whole exhaust? That's that would be the rear main, so on oh, the back side. That probably one. that too. <laughs> but we'll probably have to do that. I'm imagining <laughs> it, it's pretty. I mean, you look, you see. That drip right there. You see where it's kind of oh, clean. Right Most likely we'll need just kind of oil pan gasket. Maybe we'll just do it all. Just all the gaskets. Yeah, let's all just the do gasket. it all. Before we do that, is really get a good power washing. Yeah. Hey, your we tree came leaf. with you. <laughs> That's from the old house. Oh man, look at that. That looks like a major problem. What is that, Cody? What? Do you see the crack? Come here. Oh. Right there. Yeah, the motor mount's toast. Nuh uh. It's a cheap fix. 100 bucks. Oh, couple the other hours. one too. Are the they? other one gone? Yeah, yeah, good, yeah. good eye. Tell me what modifications this car has, because I don't really know. It does have shorty headers on it. Yeah, so those pipes square up there coming right off the head. Yeah. Go and touch it. It Just might be a little it. warm. I wasn't going <laughs> to touch it with my hand. That's what she said. Oh! oh. <laughs> so you got both on, on both sides. It looks like right here, these are high Masters. high flow cats oh, initially, but we are really rusty. A couple little leaks right there. You can see where that- Like exhaust leaks. Yeah, that's where it's it. kind of a little rusty. So we might want to do a new H pipe or X pipe. So we have headers, we have exhaust. We still have mufflers. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> They're a little sad shape. Straight, straight pipe it. Ooh, we could do that. Hey. <laughs> yeah, rear, rear differential's not even leaking. That's good. And then we go into your shock. That thing's done. So we need a shock. How do you know it's done? Just because of all the stuff. You on see it? the oil, all the oil coming yeah. out of it. It's not supposed to do that. Okay. And then this one. You know what? I might have shocks for this. Ooh. Just a set of whatever's. So I want top five. What's the top five repairs slash mods that we should do? I think Ooh. let's get the crank seal, oil pan, and rear main done. Okay. Those are gonna be your three, three 
major oil leaks and in all reality it could be just one oil leak it's just kind of swiping as we drive but isn't that good like shouldn't we replace all three yeah That's i mean if thing. you think about it okay. well years 92 yeah yeah gaskets Ooh. and stuff they'll wear they'll they'll rot out i don't think it's a bad idea to do all three at the same time okay so do uh, that a little bit of work three. so as far as building this car because i kind of want to race a little bit what should we do first shocks right. i mean ultimately Let's i do think it. do the rear shocks first they're completely gone that one side's leaking all over yeah uh it's the nasty. driver rear and then let's just double check brakes. I mean, really, in ball joints and tie rod ends. Let's, well, we can do that real quick, too. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get started on this. So a quick, easy way on ball joints. Grab a bar, get off the ground just a little bit, and you just pry up on it. Now, Phil, <laughs> I don't what? know if you want to Phil. <laughs> That's what she said. So pull up on it, kind of bounce it a little. You feel all that yeah. play? Uh-huh. So that can mean ball joints or loose wheel bearings. But mainly I think Probably it's gonna ball be ball joint. joint. So ball joints are bad, they're, they're cheap if you don't go crazy aftermarket. Yeah, I won't go crazy. I don't know if you can see it, it almost moves the wheel just a little bit. Freaking mosquito. Right I'm glad they're going for you. Cause you're wearing a red shirt. <laughs> oh, no. That ball joint's kind of moving around a little bit. It's a super easy way to, to, to test it. Just put a little pressure on it. And then tie rod ends is what you steer with. And you'll just check for play going back and forth. That's supposed to wiggle forth. that much? Just barely. Okay. Any excessive. It felt pretty good. I'm not worried about that. I think you're okay. <laughs> I was gonna say too. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of those. Yeah. In the comments, tell me if I missed any. <laughs> <laughs> now fill this side. This side's a lot tighter. Yeah, it so is. So just go. It's not, it doesn't have the uh -uh. any movement in it. Yeah. So it's a little bit tighter. So usually me, I do both. It's just common, you know, it's easy to do both. Good practice. And then back and forth feels about the same, so. Okay. So I think ball joints would be another good one before we actually go and uh, run it on a road Get my course. my supercharger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. or run it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret I have. I want to race the Fox. I wanna turn this Fox into a track car. There is no drag strip here in Utah, so my only choice if I wanna drag it is go to Wyoming, which we have done before. Mm -hmm. But I kinda just wanna go to the track at UMC and just race it there. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I do it. I do the autocross stuff mainly and i want her to get into it so oh, yeah. i think this Me is the too. perfect perfect car they're light they've got a lot of power but not too much power <laughs> and it, they're, they'll be great and we're only a few hundred bucks away from actually making it a decent competitive car so that's awesome i think it'll be great All right, so cheap don't forget to go follow cody at 50 i'll link him in the description and we'll see you guys next time bye